There's something you don't see anymore. Laska! Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful day here in Anchorage, and it's supposed to be raining, which is a little interesting. But yeah, obviously clear skies today. Uh, today we're going out looking for apartments. Even though we've found our house, uh, we're waiting on the paperwork and all the stuff to go through. Uh, today we are looking for just a temporary place, somewhere to stay for like 30 days. Um, but first, we are going to stop by a store for my mom. Uh, we're going to stop by Cabela's. Uh, yesterday I went to uh, Bass Pro, and my mom's like, that place is nice. But I love Cabela's. I want to see Cabela's. So that's what we're going to do for my mom. We're going to go check out Cabela's right now. And here we are at Cabela's. All right, let's see how cool it is. What, I think we walk? Oh, there's like beluga whales. Wow, that is impressive. Very, very impressive. Holy crap. Is that really how big they are? That's crazy. They got some walruses, some black bears, some sheep. They got lots of stuff here. Let's see. Moose. Pure sound. Oh, awesome. Oh, there are squirrels here. They're just black, so you can't see them. That makes sense. Wow, this is so cool. This is pretty so. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize there was a fish tank back here. Oh, this one's nice. Wow, you're beautiful. And oh my gosh, I had no idea the wolves were so big. Wow. And that reminds me, I do have to get a gun because where we're moving is in fact on the side of a mountain. Am I for or against guns? I'm from a family that hunts. I'm kind of born and raised in the country. Yes. I'm for guns. Of course I'm for guns, but only to hunt for food or protect myself. I wonder if they have fishing poles. I should go ask. Yeah, they said they were plum out. That sucks. What do you call a group of moose? Is it moose, meese, mooses, meeses, masseuses? Masseuses, I think that's what it is. These are masseuses. And check out these pieces. Those are some big wolves, man. Big wolves. Oh, that one's beautiful. You know, even though I don't really want to be near them, I want to see one so bad. You know what? I can almost guarantee you where we're moving, we are going to see them at some point. Here are all the guns. Look at this. they got a, a gun library. Let's check this out. <laughs> wow. That, this is, this is like enough guns for like a small military. <laughs> I'm just so impressed by everything right now. It's cool. I want to play. <laughs> That is a big magnum. That's pretty, uh, that's a pretty serious game. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just so impressed by everything right now, it's cool. Wow. Ah, oh, that's, that's what I need right there. That's what I need, that's the perfect gun. <laughs> that is huge. Remind me to hit this place up when the zombies come. <sighs> All right, where to next? Oh, I know, we can go to a brewery, drink some beers. I should probably bring Kristen though. You wanna go? Yeah. Okay, so here we are at the micro brewery. This is um, interesting. Is this it? I hear people. Doesn't look like much. <laughs> Sweet. So let's get something. Kristen's gonna have the I'll have another, and me, I'm gonna keep on humping. <laughs> Six ounces, 12 ounces, and a growler. Wait, what the hell's a growler? Oh, that's a growler. So you buy these growlers, fill them up, and you get cheaper beer, as long as you have these. That's awesome. We're grabbing our beers and following this guy down the stairs because he's gonna be the one giving us the tour. This is my kind of tour. Well, welcome everybody. I'm going to ask everybody to introduce themselves since we're, uh, <laughs> since we're so small, but I will introduce myself and my two assistants. My name is Gary. I'm the general manager and one of the owners of Midnight Sun Brewing Company. Uh, we are the oldest brewery in Anchorage. We've been in business for 19 years, started in 1995. Been in this facility here a uh, bit over five years. We have a little sneak preview of our this year's uh, version of Trickster, which is one of our pumpkin ales. 
Our, uh, we do two fun premieres every fall. Uh, again, this one's called Twister. Go with the Sky Ale. Mm -hmm. uh, Lightly kilned barley. Cranked up a bit, or, le or the grain left a bit longer can produce various types of specialty malts or roasted malts. This one here is called chocolate malt. It's one of dozens that are available to, um, to uh, brewers to not only add color to your darker colored beers, but also those uh, roasted flavors and aromas you associate with stouts, porters, and uh, brown ales and such. This is good stuff. Similar process, although there's no enzymes are produced. I say yum yum. I'm not gonna eat that, really? Absolutely. Ooh, that was more than I intended. <laughs> it's okay. But good stuff. Mm. Oh, bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are good grains. Also, water chemistry wise, it's very. Uh, very easy to make beer with our water because it's relatively soft. Our water comes from Cluton uh, Glacier, which is, goes into a lake, Cluton Lake, and is transported down the Anchorage via pipeline from about 35 miles away. <laughs> That's the way to go. That's fresh. You can't get any fresher than that. I don't know. It's warm. Yeah, what it's sweet. Yeah. It's like coffee and tea and just all the greatness. There's mostly no alcohol. Oh, there's no alcohol in it. No, we, we haven't gotten anywhere near that point in the process yet. Oh, so really this is a barley tea? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Why are we not making this more? <laughs> I mean, we are, but... No idea. No idea. This is so good. Best tour ever. <laughs> if you ever get a chance to come to Anchorage, you should definitely come to one of these uh, tours. They do really good tours, and this stuff is just so good. Seriously, try it. So this will be ready several months in the future. Similarly, been here like a week. Wow, it's dark. This is one of the eagerly anticipated beers every year. Oh, I'm excited. It smells for this. real good. And heads up, this is 12.7%. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, she's feeling it. And he's like, you want some more? That's good stuff, man. Oh my god. <laughs> all of a sudden, we're all just so talkative. Why is this? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Are you guys into hiking? Alright, I'm not gonna lie, we feel pretty good. <laughs> Let's get some, uh, let's get some of this, oh god. Should we get some salads? <laughs> We've had a lot to eat, I've had plenty of water, I'm good to go. But oh my god, that was quite an experience. <laughs> That's all I can say. Hey babe, you wanna check out some big ass guns? Yeah. yeah. How, how far does this thing shoot? Oh, I don't know, it's 50 caliber, a mile and a half. Was it easy? <laughs> here, really? Here. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think this will do, because we're going to have a lot of squirrels to take care of. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I want to make sure I can hit them from a mile away. <laughs> just, you know, just in case. They could be rabid. <laughs> this is it doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, this is video thumbnail right here. <laughs> There's one of the bullets. He's saying, 10 bucks a bullet, 100 bucks to fill the magazine. Wow. I've shot one of those before, my buddy was buying the ammo, so I shot it three or four times, I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, no doubt about it. Here, I'll be a gentleman and unlock your door for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Men, you unlock your lady's door so you can fart before you get in the car. There you go. And that's an awesome woman. <laughs> Ah, here comes the rain. 
Isn't that pretty? God, those clouds are beautiful. And there is a beautiful Anchorage sunset for you guys. Well, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye because I wanna get some sleep early tonight. Tomorrow we're gonna possibly try to metal detect if it's not raining, but we'll see what happens. Oh, and for those of you who live in Alaska, if you're going to the fair, let me know what date. I might end up going either Saturday or Sunday, whichever, I'll let you guys know. Follow me on Facebook for more details. Facebook.com slash DudeLikeHella. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!